It all begins with signal, and lots of it. There's no substitute for the stacking of subexposures. So whatever your system, gather enough photons to produce smooth results. In addition to PixInsight's post-processing capabilities, it's also a powerful pre-processing platform. And with the recent addition of a third-party script, stacking is easy to do. Prior to batch preprocessing by Kvichen and Juan Caniero, stacking was a tedious multi-step process. It required the use of image calibration, star alignment, and image integration processes plus the batch debayer script, when appropriate, to achieve a master file. Now, as with, say, AstroArt, batch preprocessing is a one-pass action that does the following. At this time, batch preprocessing is about fully debugged and should work flawlessly, but it's still considered a script in development. To keep abreast of the latest ones, go to Resources, Updates, Manage Repositories. In addition to the default updates URL, be sure to add this one. That will give you the opportunity to download batch preprocessing and others from the web. Once installed, it will appear here and can be added to your favorites. Provided each file's FITS header was correctly named at acquisition and all file types have been placed into a common object folder, you can use Add Files. As with MaximDL, the script will analyze your reduction and light frames, placing them in the appropriate fields. This is especially handy for the increased workflow of monochromatic images. If any files were not recognized correctly, you can tell the script what they are with Add Custom. You can also clear all files in an active tab or remove selected files. And you can reset all script settings to either defaults or the last settings used. Now let's take a manual track. Click Add Bias. Navigate to and select them and hit open. The field fills with your individual bias frames. Now do the same for dark frames, then flats, and finally lights. If you're using a pre-combined master bias, dark or flat, Check the appropriate boxes here and they'll be marked with a blue star. Otherwise, leave these unticked. Let's stick with options. Experiment with optimized dark frames. Certainly, if the exposure duration of your darks is longer than your lights, choose this option to have darks scaled by the bias. If your darks and lights durations match, it may still offer some benefit in fine-tuning the process. For low-noise Sony sensors, you may find it best to leave this deselected. If disparity exists in the length of your individual darks, you can adjust the exposure tolerance in seconds. If this is selected, both a high and low rejection map will be generated by the run, showing what outlying pixels were not included in the final stack. Up-bottom fits is likely appropriate 
for your camera. Offered are options to calibrate only, calibrate and register, or calibrate, register, and integrate. We'll see this soon. Providing you want your light frames aligned, you'll need to pick a registration reference image. Double click any light frame or you can pre-evaluate files visually to determine one you'd like to use. Next up, much more stacking.